Okay, so welcome to ChrisLinfordCo.uk Get Going Guide Tutorials. Uh, we're looking at the C panel uh, and how to control your web server. Uh, the last uh, tutorial was looking at email accounts, uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to look at file management and uh, how to back up your files and set up uh, FTP accounts, which means file transfer protocol, which is how that you can connect uh, to your website uh, and push files uh, up and down. We'll be looking at FTP software in a later tutorial, uh, so you might want to go to the FTP tutorial straight after this one. The first thing is if you've got files on your server, uh, you might need to back them up uh, every now and then. Your web server will get automatic backups anyway, but uh, you can back it up to your own machine if you prefer. So if we click on backups, it's a nice video tutorial uh, to do that, uh, you can then set the preferences on what you want to do with your backup. So download or generate a full website backup, so you want to do that. Uh, do you want to do it daily, weekly, monthly? If you're running an e-commerce site, then I think you'd probably want to do it daily. Uh, but if your site doesn't change at all, um, then just a monthly backup uh, might do it, uh, just so you can um, refer back to it in case something goes wrong. Also, you can then push it onto another server if you need to find another host. So then, if you want partial backups, you can use your different directories, uh, and you can where do you want them to be uh, restored to, uh, and then basically all the different things if you've got SQLs what do you want to do to it forwarders for your email and basically you just work down here uh, if you want to do just an individual backup of all your emails or all of your databases um, for things like that so you might want if you run an e-commerce via database you might want to do it there so it's very easy to set your backups up bear in mind if you don't like it after that then you can always delete them so it's not causing you uh, any uh, problems so if we go back into the uh, file setup, the backup wizard basically controls things for you. So a simple button just to push uh, to decide what you want to do. So you either want to back up or you want to restore uh, something that you've backed up before because something's gone wrong or you've made a mistake on your server, which is the most um, common reason you'd want to uh, restore things. The other things you'd want to look at is how do you put uh, information onto your server, you might have um, a web disk facility that we have here and file managers uh, and things here. So if we look at the file manager, this tells you where is it that you want uh, to push uh, your, your files. So uh, you can go into home, you can go into the web, web root or into the public uh, FTP areas. We'll have a look at those in more detail when we look at FTP software. Uh, later on. Uh, but if you've got your web disk, you can make in a log uh, login for you. So it could be the same as your email that we've set up. Uh, you stick in a password again, again it gives you a check of what's going on. And then it will give you a folder uh, which will appear on your desktop uh, and you can just push things directly into it. So as long as you're connected to the web and you're logged into it, it will respond as if it was another hard drive on your desktop. And it saves using FTP software uh, for that. So I have one uh, already set up here uh, and it just goes into uh, direct access uh, for it there. So uh, you can do that. Personally, I tend to use FTP software, so I tend not to do that uh, for. If you want to see how much space you've got on your server or where all your files are kept, how much memory you're putting into each particular folder, these are the different folders that I've got uh, on my server and as you can see most of my information is going into the public folder which is where you can look at all these files from um, to uh, gain. So I just run it for websites but I don't store any other information on there but you can if you want to. Now, FTP accounts. FTP means File Transfer Protocol, and what that means is you can allocate authority to push, to open up a document uh, and then push information onto the server, which is how you upload your websites uh, to your server. So what we want to do is to set up an FTP account. Again, exactly the same as setting up an email account, really. You put in uh, a username. Uh, for it, so uh, 
you can do that. Give it passwords. Uh, how much? Uh, what directory they want it to go into? So you might want it to go straight to a public or straight to a private folder or different kinds of folders. You might make for some users their own folder on the website. Um, then how much space are you going to allocate them uh, on the server? And then you just click create an FTP. Now, so that just allows a user to connect to your server. So at the moment, I've got some FTP accounts which are already set up for you from the host. So it's got one with my username and the logs and FTP there. And we've got an anonymous one, which means anyone can log in without actually having to need a password. But the best bet is to try and turn that off. So if we go back to, so if you've made up all the FTP accounts that you need to do, um, if we have a look at anonymous FTP, this is where you set up, do you want to allow people who do not have access to your site to look at your FTP? You might want to do it because it's an easy way to get downloads of files from your server. So if it's a new server, it can be very useful. But really, I would turn that off so nobody can do it. But let's turn it on for the minute. And if I go to my uh, website, so if I go FTP dot Chris Linford co dot UK it comes up with this where you can if I had information in here you could start I could click on a folder and then that you would see all the information in there but as I've got no information in there at the moment uh, then there's nothing to actually see so if there's nothing to see you might as well turn it off so I would just untick that uh, you can also allow anonymous people to upload information very dangerous setting I feel but you never know there might be a place for it so we'll save that setting uh, now and now no one will be able to get into the FTP without a password so it would only allow people with passwords to get into it so the final thing FTP session control this just tells you is anybody connected to your server at the moment so if people are connecting in via FTP you can start to see down here uh, who they are and you can disconnect them um, and see how long they've gone on for. Uh, so very useful if you're running anonymous, uh, but um, otherwise it's normally only the webmaster, the person who creates the website, who is uploading uh, stuff to the server at that point. So that's file management uh, within the cPanel. It's fairly straightforward. It's mainly used for backups or for pushing files onto your web server uh, or taking files off of your web server via the FTP accounts. We'll be looking at uh, FTP software later on. I'll be using an open source solution which is available on the Mac or the PC called Cyberduck but plenty of other ones are available uh, later on and that's where we're going to make our first website and have a look at what information is actually on your server. So that's it for files. If you need more information go to chrislinfordco.uk uh, or see me on iTunes or YouTube.